here at Cracker Lake in Glacier National Park in Montana and you'll notice that the color of the water is this incredible turquoise. That color is created when water has glacial flour in it. Now, glacial flour is really nothing more than, than powdered up rocks that are crushed by the glacier. And you'll notice as I pan around to the left, you'll notice a glacier up there with lots of sediment, lots of till in front of it. And that till gets carried into the water by the waterfalls coming out of the melting glacier. And when the sunlight hits the water, the water absorbs all of the colors except for that turquoise color. That color gets reflected by the rock flower. So that's what our eyes see. It is absolutely beautiful. Got some nice tilted sedimentary rocks up there on that mountain. Pretty cool. That mountain actually, the one that you're looking at in the very back right there, that's the Continental Divide. So when it rains, depending on which side the water lands on, if it lands on the side that we're on, it'll eventually end up in the Atlantic Ocean and if the rainwater lands on the other side of that ridge, it'll end up in the Pacific Ocean. So that's our continental divide here at Cracker Lake. So there's a few more interesting geological uh, features here at Cracker Lake that I wanted to point out. First one, and it might be hard to see in the video, but the whole shape of this valley is like a giant bowl. And so we would call this a cirque. And the bowl was created by the glaciers. And so Cracker Lake, because it's in the cirque, is actually a cirque lake. A couple of other things. If we look up near the top of the Continental Divide, you'll notice that dark horizontal stripe of rock. That's an igneous sill. So that actually formed deep underground when magma burned through the existing sedimentary rock. And you can see, maybe you can see, just above it and below it is a little bit lighter colored rock. So those are the rocks that were changed by the contact metamorphism when that sill was created. Some other things that I see up here is if we look down to where the water is ent entering the lake, notice a whole pile of sediment over there right by the shore. So that fan-shaped uh, pile of sediment, that's a delta. And so deltas form when running water goes into slower bodies of water. So in this case it's the streams running into the lake and when the streams slow down they drop the sediments that they're carrying. So that's how the delta over there formed. Moving to the right a little bit, you're going to see some nice tilted strata. So you can see the sedimentary rocks up there have been tilted. And if we go further to the right, there are some folded layers near the end over there. So you can imagine the tectonic forces that must have been going on that tilted and folded all of these rocks. And the last thing I wanted to point out is if we turn around and go backwards, there is another piece of evidence that this valley was made by glaciers. And of course, it's the U-shape that we see when we look towards the opening of the valley. Beautiful Cracker Lake.